Hi friends, I'm D Vegan. Fruit salad is my theme today. And I have all these wonderful, colorful fruit. I have um, two main parts here. <laughs> I have nectarines and apricots. and a strawberry. This is, these three are the main part, the first main part. Yeah. Strawberry. Now in season here, wonderful quality. Yeah, summertime, you know, fruit time. I put them together and the, the other part, the other main part are berries. Are blueberries, blackberries and raspberries. Here blueberries and blackberries. These are my, my favorites, berries, and then blues and blackberries are wow. Yeah. Amazing. And raspberries also, I mean, I can't tell you what's better for me. I love them all, all the berries, I could live on it. Berries are really <laughs> my big favorite here. So I have two parts, two main parts, and how I make a recipe, I have three parts. These were the two main parts, and then I have a dressing. That's the third part. That's why I have a simple rule how to um, plan a recipe. I have the three parts and I wonder what can be in which part. Now, the dressing is very simple today. It has three ingredients. It has cashews, bananas and a lemon. Here, three bananas, pretty ripe. And um, not quite a cup of cashews to make it creamy. You know, when you blend nuts and bananas, you get this perfectly creaminess, this silken creaminess. It's a very nice um, bananas blended as is are already creamy, but you put nuts in there and you get silken creaminess. It shines, the surface shines then. It's very nice. And adding a lemon here, half a lemon, it's a large lemon, yeah, because I have a lot of pressing here, that makes uh, the banana flavor even more perfect, I would say. Banana is nice by itself, but it has a pretty a complex flavor, and there are so many um, details yeah, in this uh, bitter, for example, in bananas, there's a bitter tone. So it depends on how ripe it is. But when you put the lemon into it, you taste more of these aspects. Yeah? So to me, banana and lemon is just perfect together. Also, when you blend a lemon, a banana, yeah, with a lemon together, a little bit, not too much. Yeah, three bananas here and half a lemon. Then the cream remains light. It will not turn brown. Without a lemon, it's an antioxidant. It doesn't oxidize, oxidize and that then doesn't turn brown. It stays fresh. And lemon is something that is, makes help uh, food to taste stay, stay fresh. Color remains light. And that's um, also a nice effect. You have a light, bright dressing. Here the cashews are the main part in this dressing. And um, I just put a just a drop of water, not too much. Just not too much really. I want to have a cream. Yeah? And with a lot of bananas here, you get it runny. Uh, too much water will make it really very runny. But I can always add a little bit later. I make the first blending now. I can always do a second one to make it creamier and add some water if need be. Blender dance. Yeah, that is a nice texture. I would say it's perfect. I do not need more water, but to make sure I will let it sit for a moment while I put my fruit together in a bowl to combine it, to enjoy all these colors together in one bowl. And then I will see that I need to put some more water 
because when it sits now for a while it soaks. The cashew nuts, they soak. That means they get thicker. Uh, soaks water out of the dressing and it, uh, the whole dressing gets, dressing gets sicker, uh, thicker. So I will wait for a moment and maybe add a more water, but I don't think so. Let's see. Mm. That's a wonderful flavor. Mm, like a sour cream a little bit. Very simple. So let's wait. Now I put the two together. I begin with the, with the nectarines and the apricots and the strawberries. And then I put on top the blueberries, the blackberries, and the raspberries. Oh, wow. <laughs> Is that nice? Um, combine a little bit to see all these colors together and I show you what it looks like. Look at that. You can already see um, what an amazing energy is in fruit. To me, if it is, it's clearly fruit is our most precious food. And also economically, you have to put a lot of water into food until it grows and you can harvest it and then put, bring it to the marketplace. It takes a lot of water with fruit. Pretty expensive. So it's in summertime when we have the fruit here in the cities. And I'm already celebrating. Yeah, this is a celebration, isn't that? Look at this. Could there be any, any, any food beautiful or more beautiful than this one? I don't know, really. <laughs> it's, I have to say, my favorite food is fruit. <laughs> yeah, of course, you know, scientifically speaking, yeah, nothing is healthier than gr leafy greens, dark leafy greens like broccoli or kale or so. This is really the healthy stuff. But uh, fruit, of course, super healthy and so much fun. And it's also, too, also important. You know, we also have to see that um, health, what is healthy is always um, as compared to what is unhealthy and also as compared to in a, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a population, in a country for example, or in a continent. Yeah? Um, when all the people have heart disease, the healthiest food would be the best food against heart disease. It's relative, you know. If you are healthy, maybe, maybe fruit is the healthiest. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. You know, you got the idea, okay? So I look, look again at my at my dressing. Now, how thick is this? Is this? Yeah, it's a little bit thicker now. I can see that. I blend one more time. Sometimes it is then already nicer and runnier by blending a second time. But I can always see later. I don't want to have it too runny because. Um, I want to have a little creamy here because it, I don't know. That's my feeling. I don't know. Let's see. Blender dance number two. Another example of the healthiest food. Today, science tells us healthiest food is definitely whole food, plant-based diet, the healthiest diet. should be the standard diet for us, you know, for the whole population, mostly in the Western countries, of course. You know, because why, you know why that is, why that is considered to be the healthiest food, the plant-based whole food, because um, that changed in the 90s, up to the 90s, the last century, 1990 and so, um, many, many people starved on the planet. And starvation means you have no food or you have no quality food, no calories, not enough calories, not enough nutrients and so. And as people were starving, the problem was not so much about the quality of the food, it was mainly about getting the calories to the people. They needed calories. So it doesn't matter about animal food, plant food. They didn't care about this. They just, we have to feed the people no matter what. And that makes sense. So, but later, uh, in the 2000s and also, the first cause of death, of premature death, was not starvation anymore, but it was cancer, heart attack, Diabetes, all these, 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 these uh, 
diseases caused by the wrong food. Yeah. If you have um, overweight, you eat too much, you get a heart disease, maybe diabetes, and then you die, perhaps. You live not as long. So then the shift came and said, okay, we have to figure out what is the better food. It yeah. doesn't matter if we give the people any food because we have all the food. We need to now look what is the best food. And that's why now they say health, the healthiest food is a whole food, plant-based food d diet. The vegan diet, of course, the healthy vegan diet. Another example just for how relative, what a relative is. Yeah. I'm not talking about the moral implication, the ethics, yeah. The highest ethical standard would be um, to care for somebody else, to humans, animals, or somebody else. A mom is has the highest moral standard, and a mom, a mother, is considered the one, the ideal um, love, a selfless love for the baby. The mother would give her life for the baby. You know that is a loving mom. We all know that. Everybody on the on planet Earth knows that. So this is the ideal for love. And if you then say the animals are care for the animal, this would be the highest standard. What are we doing? We're eating the animals, and we don't need to do that. That is not a higher moral standard. I would say so. So now, from a moral from a moral perspective, what is a good behavior? What is a good living together? We should not harm any being. As we understand, you know, animals are also persons like we, like humans. We can't do that anymore. It is a very low moral standard, no matter what kind of the best diet was in being so. It's only one aspect. Now the reflection about veganism. So let's see, I will taste it again. Do I need some more water or looks pretty nice, let's see. Perfect. It's like a like a, mm, like a cream. <laughs> I show you a little bit of lemony cream. I guess it's perfect for a fruit salad. You think a fruit salad with cream, you know, what would be nicer? Here I show you. Put it all over the, on top here. And then I have my fruit salad. And if I don't eat it now, because it's a little bit much, it's a whole food, it's a whole meal, I would just um, put it in the refrigerator and eat it later. Yeah, it really doesn't matter. I have to now. Uh, Combine everything and toss it. It looks so nice. I'll show you again. So beautiful. All these little colorful dots here. Such a joy for the, such a pleasure, a joy for the eye. Pure joy. And there's nothing immoral about it. To take a fruit from a stem, from a tree, from a bush, it falls down. You don't do anything. It's a perfectly ahimsa diet, right? <laughs> non violent diet. Doing no harm to anybody. That's the highest moral standard. Of course, love, compassion, that's the positive value. Nonviolence is only correction. Um, we correct something, we don't do violence. But anybody, you know, anybody knows that, of course. Nobody would do violence that by, the, by itself just for fun or so. That is would be a very bad person, you know. You know, nobody would do that usually. So we all feel that. We all know that compassion and love is the highest value, you know. Nonviolence is just the law, you know, to make it, to make it, um, if you don't know, if you are in doubt what to do, you just have that rule, nonviolence, and then you know, okay, this is not, this is not violent, this is violent, I, I shouldn't do that if possible. So then you have, but from the heart, we know, we, we feel that, you know? we don't want to be violent, nobody wants to be that. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoy. If you like my video, like, subscribe, and be vegan on YouTube. Have another recipe every single day and find me on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest and Twitter.